Okay, cool. Same. I'm sorted. Hi, I'm Kiwi Prepper Rose. In this video, we will be making cough syrup from Kumaraho and Blackberry. The recipe that we're using is adapted from the one in Donna Carriage's book, Ruango Rako Maori Herbal Medicine. The equipment required is a measuring cup, syrup bottles, sterilised syrup bottles, a wooden spoon, labels, a funnel, a large stainless steel pot, a nice heavy bottomed one, a large bowl or jug and a Muslim filter. So for your ingredients um, that make half a litre, you're going to need a cup of dried kumaraho leaves. Uh, half a cup of blackberries, either fresh or frozen will be fine. Uh, one, and, one and a quarter cups of water and one and a quarter cups of honey. And what we need to do now is you take the kumaraho leaves, crush those up and put them into the cup and you use those leaves and the blackberries, you put them together in a pot with the water and you bring that to the boil and then you reduce it, let it simmer for 20 minutes. Once that 20 minutes is up, you take it off the heat and you strain the kumaraho and the blackberry material from that water. Now you need to measure out one cup of kumaraho and blackberry liquid but you can see that we actually haven't got that much. Mm. Yeah, we've, we haven't got that much. Whether I've let that simmer for too long and it's reduced down too much, I'm not sure. So perhaps this recipe could be doubled or even, um, depending on how much you want, um, more than doubled. So with what we've got, we need to, for every cup, you need to add two cups of sugar or one cup of honey. So we're using our own own honey from our own hives. So that's going to be a one-to-one -one ratio on the juice and the honey. So if you're using sugar, you can bring that to the boil and then let it simmer slowly for 20 minutes to make sure the sugar is fully dissolved. But we're using honey, so we just need to gently warm that, heat it up until the honey dissolves. Now we just need to let that cool down for a few minutes and then pour it into the sterilized glass bottles and then we need to put the label on it so that we know what it is and make sure that we return all the plant material back to the nahiri. All that's left to do now is to try it. If you want to hold that. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks like exactly like cough syrup. What do you think? That's quite <laughs> I don't know. It tastes like cough syrup. Yeah, it does. You can it tell it's a sort of an earthy. I does think it tastes a bit like strawberry pimel. Um, okay. But when it was cooking, I actually thought it smelled a little bit like rhubarb. Hmm. It actually has kind of a rhubarb mm. sort of aftertaste to it. But yeah, it's nicer than a lot of other cough syrups I've had. So yeah. give it a try. Yep. See you See next, next time. time. Policeman taps his sights, is that a Chevy 69? Albazar!